My name is Nicole Orwood. I am Head of Commissioning Practice and Development in the Integrated Children's Commissioning Team for the Royal Borough of Greenwich. My nan and granddad both migrated to the UK from Jamaica um, in the 1950s. So I remember my nan telling me about um, getting on the ship to come here and that it took three months to get to the UK. And then she got to the UK, she got to London and she just remembers how cold it was, how grey it was. But she would always say like how miserable everybody was, like nobody said hello, because in Jamaica everybody said good morning or good afternoon. And she said, oh, I think it's because it's so cold here, that's why everybody's so miserable and nobody wants to smile. I mean, they did experience obviously some um, racism and that was an adjustment because, you know, they've never, never been used, never experienced that before. Um, but I don't know, my nan, I don't know if it's that generation, they just really didn't dwell on the negative. They really kind of focused on the positive of what was good about being here. Um, so my nan and granddad arrived separately. They met each other in London, actually. Um, and my nan used to work in Lion's Tea Shop. And she would talk to me about how people would treat her in the tea shop. And actually, she was... Um, quite welcomed um, at work and had a really good experience and she loved the idea of making tea and these pretty cakes and kind of stuff for people. My granddad had a harder time coming to uh, England. He really didn't want to be here. Um, he came here for a better life because that was the kind of messaging in Jamaica. They were, you know, people were told that you come to England, you get a good job and you can make some good money and you can have a really good life for you and your family. Um, but he really struggled um, with the, the weather, with the culture. I am so proud to be Jamaican. I am so proud of the rich history that we have and the influence we have had in the UK. I think the life that we live now is heavily influenced by the Windrush generation. Um, and it's important for us to maintain that memory and that legacy. I wouldn't be here living the life I live today if it wasn't for the journey that they made, the sacrifices they made and the contribution that they made to society and the values and principles that they instilled in me have made me the woman I am today. Uh, I, yeah, I can't, there aren't words really. I am just so thankful to be part of that Windrush generation.